Greetings fellow humans, Bat Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today we're taking a look at a keyboard that came across my feed the other day. And I was like, hmm, that's an RGB cloud. Now, had it had the uh, brand, I probably would have skipped it. Um, I did a video on a Magic Refiner board not too long ago. It was a very bad imitation or want to be of a Tester 68. It was awful and it cost more. So I was kind of surprised when I received this MK31 and found out that it was a Magic Refiner board. It actually lists a different brand on Amazon. So, but I'm not honestly expecting that much because Magic Refiner, but we'll, we will, yeah. All right, so I gotta, I gotta be honest. I, I mean, I, I believe I saw it in the end, but I was kind of surprised. You actually got your, uh, your basic aviator connector. It's not the limo connectors, but I mean, it is. This is a budget board. Um, decent, uh, a decent coil job. I mean, it's, it's not bad. It's rubberized. It's not nylon, but it's actually a custom cable that has its own set of instructions. Hmm. That's, <laughs> I mean, I have been told by several Chinese manufacturers that I talk to on a regular basis, uh, or primarily vendors, not manufacturers. Uh, and uh, they, they said that there's some interesting things on the, in the pipeline coming our way, as far as the budget, the mid tier market come and, I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it. Anyway, we also have what looks like some clear uh, caps. Look like they're OEM. Oh, we have both the. Looks like we have some extra switches and we have the keycap for it now. Anyway, it's a uh, dust proof style stem uh, clear switch. So, we also got your basic. Uh, key cap or two in one key cap, key switch and key cap puller. All right, so the keyboard comes in a um, kind of like shrink wrap, I guess, to protect every part of it, so. Now we've got a pretty hefty manual here, I believe, uh, yep, there's some different languages, but it's a booklet. I mean, this is the, uh, this is, for a cheaper keyboard than just to, yeah. This keyboard retails for $79. I got it on a flash sale for, uh, I wanna say $54.99, um, but it's pretty much always been, I mean, the couple of times I just, this just started popping up on my feed just recently. Anyway, it, it has, uh, I forget the exact number. I used to work at a print shop, but it's some of your harder card stock. So uh, it counts for something. They, they pay a little bit more when having them printed out. But it seems to have a pretty good uh, detailed explanation of everything. Uh, and looking at the case, I mean, it's definitely quite interesting. This is uh, one of the first I've seen that I don't know why they didn't go with yeah because I think it has a steel plate right? right so it definitely doesn't have the blues it's not a bad tactile to tell you the truth but that does yeah there's a steel plate I mean they should have why didn't they put a polycarbonate just kind of just baffles me to be honest um, we also have north facing but this is a RGB LED I mean it would have worked south facing or north facing so yeah lately I've been coming across a lot new a lot of newer switches I mean this one is Philly key P H I L I K E Y Philly key I've never heard of this brand I don't know if it's magic refiner or not 
Um, at least they do have the uh, five pin hot swappable ports here. And these crystal switch, I mean, they're not bad. They, they do have some ping, but they're a heavy linear, I would guess 55, maybe 60 grams. And they have a nice deeper tone to them. Now this, these keycaps. Yeah, this is what we're dealing with. See, look, look at this. <laughs> I mean, these keycaps are literally, I mean, I could just, if I put enough force into it, I, I probably could twist and or break it out of shape, but that's just absolutely ridiculous. Let's see what the width on these are, one millimeter. That's what these are. These aren't the best set of calipers. All right, so one millimeter body width on the sides with a slightly, oh, it looks like it's one millimeter all the way around. Um, I've had one millimeter, I have one millimeter and even less than one millimeter and I can't do this to them. Um, this is not something you should be able to do to keycaps. So, I mean, while they're trying to copy I would say probably Akos and other manufacturers that have come up with these clear keycaps, they've done what I would consider a horrendous job. I mean, there's mold markings that you can clearly see. There's still plastic coming off of there. And these are, I, I, I don't think I've ever seen a, a set of keycaps that are this mount. <laughs> malleable right, see see what I did by pressing the keycaps this is just absolutely ridiculous hey that sounds a little better now <laughs> um, yeah this is uh what what the hell are they doing I mean put a little bit more energy into your product and sell it for a reasonable price I mean this is listed at I mean just to be sure, so I'm not talking. Yeah, $69.99. I mean, like I said, I bought it on a flash sale, but even at $52, I think of what I got it for, this is not worth it. it. It's just, I hate to say it, but it's a piece of S-H-T. It, it really is. Like, why are you even bothering? I mean, now the case obviously, actually the case is a lot sturdier than I thought it would be, but Creaking is not something that you want to hear coming out of the key, out of your keyboard case. So yeah, I am honestly perturbed. I mean, we've already got a broken keycap. I mean, look, look how thin and flexible this plastic is. This type of plastic, this this is like it's about as strong as a water bottle plastic. <laughs> I mean, is that what you want for keycaps? Like I said, had I known this was a magic refiner from the get-go, I would have not even wasted my time. Uh, I was actually going to go in here and take a look at the internals and everything, uh, but I'm just not going to bother. I This magic refiner, unless they, they're going to come up and, and change their game, they are only doing the uh, mechanical keyboard hobby. Uh, no favors. They are only hurting uh, this. They're using the old style LEDs with the four connectors. Um, although the PCB does look fairly clean, usually you see a lot of flux. There's a little bit of flux, but not much. I mean, a PCB doesn't look half bad. They're Everglide. Okay, so is Magic Refiner an Everglide brand? I know Everglide, I believe they make keyboards, right? I, I, I haven't touched one. So, um, QC passed. How is this pass quality control? But well, I guess it's under the design. <laughs> I mean, this is just, this is ridiculous. It ruins what is otherwise a good switch. I guess we'll take a look at the RGB. I, I, 
Honestly, had I known this was a magical frying I would have skipped it all together. This is a pretty much a waste of time. Now it's supposed to be gasket mounted, but it does not have a daughter board. So, all right, so we've got RGB. It's north facing. Um, it's not very exciting. The RGB implementation isn't even that good on here, but these keycaps have got to be just the worst that I've ever seen. Um, I cannot, I just can't understand how this makes the market. I mean, I've had some ideas for keyboards that I know would beat this and probably cost less to make than this. I mean, not in the clear type style. I don't particularly, I know some people like these, but I mean, okay, if they're going clear, why not go with a PC plate? It's cheaper and it you can actually see through it. I know you can't make the PCB see through, but at least you can see through the PCB. And, uh, I mean, it's got downward facing RGB, but I don't know. I just, this is a wannabe, um, almost wannabe LK67. That's just missing a key because it has the column indicators here. It has a tiny little knob. I'm sorry, but if you're going to put a knob on it, might as well make it a little substantial. I know that's not the stock stock knob for this one, but very clacky and they both have steel plates. So yeah, it's very high pitched. 826. So this was made in August of this year. Version 1.2. Made in August of this year, and it's this horrible. It's got plastic breaking off of it. it. It's making that sound you don't want to hear when you're in a child sleeping next to your parents' room. This is awful. I, I, I want to be positive, but I'm sorry. When I come across a dud like this, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, because I wanna spare people going through, you know, well, let me see if I can make this any better, or let me see this, or let me see that. That This is poorly built, and they should not be supported until they decide to actually come up with keyboards that are worthwhile. Skimping out a few cents here and there to deliver a product that is subpar is bad business. And I mean, why? Would you want to deliver a keycap that can be broken? I'm disabled, especially my right hand. This is what I'm going for surgery for a couple of days because I don't have full strength in this hand because I have a trapped nerve. And I can't squeeze much, but that I broke that key just by squeezing it. That's that's POS. So so I'm not even gonna bother trying to install a software. God knows what malware it might have on there. Let's get technical. Today we're taking a look at the Magic Refiner MK31. It is a clear PC or polycarbonate case, 65% 66 key with a knob keyboard. It currently MSRPs for $69.99. It does include a coiled cable with an aviator connector. And it also has pre-installed clear linear Philly key ice white switches. The key caps that come with this are a 1.1 millimeter body thickness clear plastic that is akin to water bottle plastic. It only has dampening between the plate and the PCB, a type of foam uh, dampening. It does have a top removable case but I don't get necessarily what the point of it is um, because it's just a deck and it doesn't look very good it looks like it's half assembled at that point that's just my personal opinion I'm trying to keep it all technical here um, it has plastic keycaps that break when you try to bend them and it has a case that sounds like this. 
So this is the MK31 from Magic Refiner. This is the second keyboard I've now taken a look at from this brand and both of their keyboards were horrible. This is definitely a keyboard I cannot recommend. It frustrates me that manufacturers are actually putting out garbage like this and calling it a keyboard. Um, it does seem to have a decent PCB, uh, but that's about it. Other than that, the case is completely hollow. It creaks pretty badly. It has keycaps that break if you bend them. And because those, the switches that it comes with, Philly Key, Ice White, some linear switches from who knows who, uh, they, they are pinging and because of the emptiness inside of the case, it only acts as an echo chamber to make that pinginess come out. I'm sure the sound test, you'll be able to hear it, but I cannot recommend this. Just stay away from this company until Magic Refiner can actually put out some keyboards that are worthwhile and actually, you know, aren't just halfway there. Because that's what the other one was. The other one was like a halfway there of the Tester 68. Had they done just a few more steps, it would have been okay. But then they're trying to sell it at twice the price of the Tester 68 without half the features. Like, are you guys even looking at the market before you put these out? And who, who's buying these? Really? I don't know. Anyway, uh, this one is going back. I am not keeping this board. I'm not spending any more time with this board than I have to. Um, it's one that I just, I, I, I cannot recommend. This thing belongs in the trash. So I hate to leave it on a negative tone or tip, but this is the last month of the year. So we've got that. New Year's is almost here. Christmas is coming. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test of this keyboard. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Was I overly critical? Not critical enough? Let me know. Go ahead and leave you guys with a stock sound test of this Magic Refiner MK31 transparent wannabe keyboard with wannabe keycaps. I'm sorry. I, I really, I'm just, I'm mad at this company. Like, you wasted my time. Yeah, had I known this was a magic refiner, I wouldn't have even ordered it. But hopefully I could save somebody from purchasing this. If I've done that, then I'm happy. So I'll leave you guys with a stock sound test of this keyboard. And until next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.